The sorcerer's stone can produce the elixir of life, which makes the drinker immortal. To keep it safe, Dumbledore has hidden the stone in Hogwarts under heavy protection. When Harry, Ron, and Hermione realize Voldemort has discovered the stone's location, they go to find it before he can get to it. There must be a thousand keys up there. We're looking for a big old-fashioned one. Probably rusty like the handle. Go on. If anyone can catch it on that old broomstick, you can. Whoa. Whoa. This complicates things a bit. Watch out! Hit those keys away! There are just too many of them. Oh, let's get out of here. <gasps> oh, what are we going to do? There must be a thousand keys up there. We're looking for a big old-fashioned one. Probably rusty like the handle. Go on. If anyone can catch it on that old broomstick, you can. Whoa. Whoa. This complicates things a bit. Watch out! Hit those keys away! Keep going! We meet again. See what I must do to survive? Unicorn blood can sustain me, but it cannot give me a body of my own. There is something that can, something that conveniently enough lies in your pocket. Stop him! Yeah. I cannot hold him! His touch burns! No! Ah! It burns! Not again! Not like this! No!
Having defeated Voldemort, Harry recovers from the confrontation in the hospital wing. Dumbledore visits him and tells him that the stone has indeed been destroyed. The year ends with Gryffindor winning the House Cup. Professor Lockhart, the Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher during Harry's second year at Hogwarts, releases a number of Cornish pixies into his classroom. The students must get them back into their cage. Anyone see what happened to Neville? 